Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Eden's Fun Crochet. I'm Eden, and this is the podcast where we talk about everything crochet and craft related, but mostly crochet. Let's get started. So, <laughs> I, on my lap here, have a blanket that I have, I started in the winter, so like at the beginning of the year of 2019. And I worked on it, and I worked on it, and I got super far on it. And then life happened. I left California, came back, didn't touch it for, like, a long time. Till now, actually. <laughs> um, it's basically finished, so it's just a bunch of colorful hexagons. I have nine colors, and each color is in a row. So there's nine hexagons in a row. As you can see, so like one row is nine hexagons, and then there's um, each color, so one of each color in the row, so nine colors, nine hexagons. Um, I've looked at it and decided that the ratio of like nine hexagon, like width and length and all of that, um, I only need four more rows. So... What I have been working on are the because it's all put together like it's just been sitting like this. I just needed a few more rows, and I've decided I need four before I start doing the border. So I started. I had some already made, not very many. Those are the ones with like the black already on them. Those are the ones that I've already had, and then I started making some new ones, and I haven't put the black on them yet. But I made a list in my like, crochet journal where I write everything down so I don't forget it. I wrote a list of the nine colors and then I tally mark for each hexagon that I have already made. So each color should have four tally marks. Um, I'd say I'm about halfway. And then, and that's just the hexagons, not including the black. That's just the colors. So then I need to go back and then finish putting the black on and then sew them together. And then I can start the border. And I'll probably do a tutorial for it because that's a simple thing to do a tutorial for since I already, like, I, all I need to do is show a hexagon and how to join them and then voila, do a border. And there's a tutorial. So that is my current biggest project the one I've actually been working on um and then my other work in progress is new <sighs> I know <sighs> I'm getting things done though that's why I'm starting new things it's because I feel accomplished and so then I start new things <laughs> so I have a red giant granny square basically is what I have and yes I know this <laughs> I turned my work here on this row and you can see that I did because it stands out and then I decided I didn't want to keep turning my work so then I stopped and now there's just a random square in the middle <laughs> but what I'm gonna so this is one skein of yarn so one I think it's mainstays but um it's basically red heart yarn like the Walmart red heart yarn um so I, that's one skein, which is 16 rounds. So it'd be like 32 rows all the way across. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to border it with white. And then I'm going to add a color just along two sides. And then go until that color runs out. And then border that whole thing with white. So half of this blank half of this square will have two rows of white while the other half only has one row of white and then the other color so that is all i have so far is that one square i am doing a tutorial for it um so it might be a little bit slower because that's something i have to do like consistently like with the recording every step of the way so those are my two whips, two whips <laughs> that I have, um, 
right now that have actually been like I have a bunch of things that haven't been worked on but then there are also those that have been worked on and then my finished objects so um who I'll do it in order of how I finish them so this one I shared last time was almost done um I'm not gonna unfold it because there's a lot to it it's a big blanket well not big but it's a blanket so it's kind of big um I was gonna do like five row border and then I but I of purple I think I was gonna do one solid color but I couldn't decide if I was gonna do each row different or not but then I decided to do a foundation row of white first and so then I did the foundation row and then I decided I really liked it just white so then I stopped <laughs> so this is my finished object it's just one foundation row like one single crochet row um and that's my blanket so this is just scrap um scrap purple yarn that i used and it's actually <laughs> started out as a genesis cardigan um and then i decided that it was too big but i didn't want to undo it because it was a lot of work so then it turned into a blanket <laughs> So that's my Genesis blanket, I guess you could say. And then one object that I'm really excited about that I finished is this. It's So I took an ice cream bucket and I basically just crocheted it a cover. <laughs> I'm so proud of it. I'm really happy, actually. It turned out really well. So it's just an ice cream bucket that I crocheted a cover for. So what I did was I... Um, crocheted the bottom and then I crocheted them like the inside bottom and then just I created a strip that was too long and then I folded it for like the pocket and then I sewed it closed and then just crocheted off of that as I went if that makes any sense and so and then I was creating the pockets too so I'd like start in the middle like come around, come back up and then back down and then back up and around. Anyway, so it has all of my crochet hooks and my fabric glue and my measuring tape and my scissors. <laughs> Usually my scissors are here, but I guess they're in the middle. And then like I hold like my yarn and and things in the inside. And then it has like all my random stuff that I had because I had like a pencil case with everything. But that's what I have, like, just all my stuff. So it's, like, my, I don't know, like, I just put yarn in it and take it to go. And it's really convenient. And then I, so I finished that. And it's all rainbowy and cute. And I was, like, oh, I want to make something with my yarn. And I have a rainbow mini set, like, yarn that I dye. And so I made this hat <laughs> with this um, you belong set mini set so I have a you belong full set which is six skeins like full 100 gram skeins and then this is 20 gram skeins skeins 20 yeah each skein is 20 grams and I didn't use the whole thing like I have a little bit of the red left because I mean I also used a lot of it for the pom-pom because it's fingering weight yarn and that's a big pom-pom with a lot of yarn in it. So I have a little bit of the red left. I have some orange. So I have a little bit of all of it left. But like those are what I have left of it. And then I have this hat. And this hat, I was a, like, I made it to sell it. Which is funny because usually I make something and then I end up selling it. Like I make it for me and then end up selling it. But this one, I made it to sell. And then I was like, I'm keeping it. <laughs> like, oh. It is just so beautiful. I'm so happy with it. And then it reminded me because I used um I used November Sky Beanie pattern by Hannah um, from the Cozy Cottage Crochet and I'll put a link in the description box. Um but I remembered that because I was working on that I had a hat that I had made 
with that pattern and it was too big so I undid it and then I started to remake it but then I just did the rim and then stopped <laughs> so then I went back and I finished that hat I don't know how big it was before but now it's the same size as this one um and so I finished that one too which I'm really happy about because it was finished and then it was too big and then I cut my hair so then it was even definitely too big and so it just kind of been sitting there in that bag forever with the pattern. And so when I pulled out the pattern, I was like, oh, yeah, I have this hat that I never finished. And I have a shirt that matches it like perfectly. Um, like the colors and it's tie dye. So it's all like super colorful and like all over the place. And like it matches it perfectly. So I'm happy to have that done. So those are my finished projects. <laughs> um, now I'm going to talk a little bit about my yarn, which I know I don't really do a lot on this podcast. Um, so I do have a You Belong set. So it's a rainbow set and, um, I made it for Hannah of the Cozy Cottage Crochet. She writes patterns and she really wanted to make a shawl, nope, a wrap, <laughs> I guess it's kind of like a shawl, but she wanted to make a wrap that was, um, for, like, everyone, you know, like, you belong, you don't have to be part of the LGBTQ club to have a rainbow shop, you know, um, not club, but you know what I mean, community, <laughs> the LGBT community, um, to belong, and so this shawl, this wrap is for everybody, and so I was like, that is so cool, and so I dyed her, so I dyed the yarn specifically for her, and she is releasing her pattern the first week of June. So it's with like the test crocheters right now. It's like being tested and she's going to put out the pattern. So I definitely recommend checking her out because it is such a wonderful pattern. Like it is literally beautiful. Like she worked with my yarn and I was like, that is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> like tears come to my eye. <laughs> so and it's made me more passionate about making sure that, like, my stuff actually gets worked with so people can see, like, what it looks like um, as, like, things instead of just yarn. So I'm going to try and make swatches for each of my colorways. Um, but I recommend checking her out and checking the yarn out. Um, you don't have to use my yarn to use her pattern, but it's definitely, I, like, <laughs> I love the way that it's, like, semi-tonals like it's just turned out really well in my opinion like this is just beautiful and I love rainbows <laughs> so I'm really happy and excited about it but I'm just really excited for it and I'm excited for school to be done next week <laughs> I yesterday was my last day of classes and then I have finals next week and I'm finally done well done with my associates but I will be taking a long break and raising my child <laughs> so but yeah I'm just really excited to have time between now and when the baby's born <laughs> to actually get some stuff done but I'm excited for this summer before the baby's born which I'm really excited and of course I'm excited for when the baby's born because like it's, it's a baby anyway um, yeah I'll see you guys next time Peace.